What's up guys, this is Teddy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video we are going to be talking about variables in Java and variables themselves have almost crossed over into pop culture. Even people who are not familiar with programming a lot of times know what variables are, but we're going to even take it a little bit further. I'm going to not only show you guys how variables work, what they are, but I'm also going to, and this is rare for a beginner course, I'm going to kind of go down a little bit deeper and help you understand like what's actually happening in the program. Because a lot of times, if you can understand like what's going on underneath, it will help you a ton. So just very basic bare bones. What does each one of these mean? If I had to explain this to somebody who literally had never been introduced to even math. Like I feel like a lot of times people can understand what math is, but essentially what this is doing in is this is an assignment. This is taking the three and it's placing it in the computer's memory for later. And it's sort of difficult to comprehend. Like why do you in even if you asked a, uh, programmer this like why do we have variables many times it's something we just kind of take for granted but look at it like this computers can only do so much at the end of the day like robots can actually touch things but computers can only store data and they can only manipulate data and variables are how one of the ways how we actually store data for our programs to use a lot of times you store things like state you store the whatever program or whatever values that your program is storing so that you can be like a little data spider and like manipulate the data that was kind of corny but you get the picture so let's also talk about what this thing is like what is an int and if you guess a lot of times people get it right it's an int is short for integer an integer is a fancy word for any positive or negative number just remember it as whenever you see integer it's a whole positive number or negative number whole positive it has to be whole it cannot be a decimal it cannot be any type of any other type of data. It can only be a whole number. Just that is probably the biggest thing that you could understand. But let's even take it a step further. Let's uh, like I said, we're going to deep dive a little bit and we're going to try to understand what is happening when the program actually assigns it. So what's going to happen is as soon as you click the green button in IntelliJ, and I showed you guys what the green button was in IntelliJ, as soon as that happens, IntelliJ is going to send the code to the JVM, and the JVM is going to go through and it's going to parse all of the code, or essentially just store all the code and go through all of the code and start assigning values and putting things in memory. And when it gets to this place right here, this is an assignment. The assign what's going to happen is this three is going to be stored on the stack. So a really important thing to realize is that one of the reasons that we assign values like this and we assign we assign words to values is because you could just reference this by the actual address in memory, but it's going to be like a crazy number like A two B E. It's going to give you some kind of crazy bytecode number, but we don't really like to think in bytecodes. Humans like nice little words. So that's the reason that we have the data value. And you may be wondering, well, Teddy, like I get, like this, I understand this and this makes sense, but why do we even have to have an int? Like, what's the deal with the int? Why do we, like, what's the purpose in that? And that has to do with something called type checking. Type checking is one of those things that I talked about why people use Java. And if you have a program and let's just say you had a thousand of these, it would be very difficult, number one, to even track 
keep track of them but this int is almost a way to keep track of what this actually is so if you were in a different place in your code like let's just say you were over you know a couple files over in your code and you had to call this exact variable and you tried to put maybe a three in it and it, there's millions of lines of code everywhere you're just coding and you're saying hey well i think i'm just going to assign this uh value to something different you say i'm going to assign this to teddy what's going to happen is it's not going to let you it's going to give you a big red x or actually it's going to be a squiggly line underneath it and it's going to say hey you can't do that because over here you declared it as an integer and if you want to declare it as a string which we haven't talked about strings yet uh you would have to call it teddy or you you could call it teddy just like that and it prevents you from putting things in there that are not supposed to be in there. A good way to think about, another good way to think about it is bumper bowling. Whenever you go to the bowling alley and you're really bad at bowling, they bring out these tube things or these rails that keep the ball from going off in the gutter. And that's essentially what this is. It's kind of keeping you from hurting yourself and being able to actually write some decent code. Okay, so rules. There's certain rules that you have to have in order to be able to use these variables. Otherwise, it will give you an error. First one, it's only letters and numbers. You can't put any type of asterisks or anything else in there. Only, letter, only letters and numbers can be used to assign um, values. Why? It's because you want it to be in a human form. Humans like words. Humans like humans don't like crazy random numbers they like words so it's it's best if it's just words cannot start with a number so it can end with a number but it cannot start with a number and number three this is probably the most important i'm going to highlight it in green definitely 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 make sure to pay attention to this you want it to be camel case what is camel case Camel case is, you see this everywhere in programs, so please do not, please do not forget this. Camel case is this. You are starting each word with the first, or uh, starting after the first word, you're going to start uppercasing everything. And if you, that's confusing to you, just remember it looks right like this. It's right here. And all the other letters are going to be lowercase. Some languages... The P is uppercase. Some languages, the you know everything's lowercase. It can't be that way if it's if it's not two words. But in uh, Java's case, it's going to be camel case. And let's go ahead in here and let's type in a couple example variables and let's actually get those fingers working because you got to actually code if you want to get good. You can't just listen to lectures all day. Wish wish it, that was the case, but we can't do that. So let's just go ahead and assign a very simple value and we're going to call this pokemon and i think Pokemon's always good because it just gets people thinking and it's kind of funny so we're going to go in here we're going to let's just create our own pokemon so our Pokemon's going to have a name and we're going to call him squirtle because squirtle is the best pokemon if you like, tell me your favorite Pokemon down in the comments, and I'm not even joking. I will come back and actually look at them. So <laughs> what is wrong here? Why are we getting this red squiggly line? And you hover over it. If you want to figure out like what the error is, all that you do is you hover over it like this, and it's going to tell you. And that's because the required type is an int, but we provided a string. Now, if you don't know what a string is, a string is basically a word in quote, uh, a word in quotes. Uh, but in this case, it has to be an int. So the type checking, the reason why Java has so many jobs in it, is, go, or uh, the type checking is going to correct that for us. And in order for us to do that, we need to assign it the value with an uppercase string. In other languages, it's a lowercase, but in Java. This is going, we need to tell Java essentially that this is going to be a string value. So what is the next one? Let's get, let's do another one. And we want to have this one be an integer. So what's a good be number of Pokemon number of, and remember we're putting it in our camel case. So the number of Pokemon is going to be five. Okay. So let's do one more 
and this will be good to sh talk about Boolean. So in computer programming, we have something called a Boolean. Boolean is a fancy word for true or false. If you, there's Boolean logic and there is a whole science to Boolean logic, but truly like Boolean just means true or false. And we have Booleans in programming because it, somebody figured, and I guarantee you this is probably what happened, was somebody probably had uh, a variable like, is Pokemon cool? <laughs> And they would they were doing this. They were just putting false in a string manually. But in our case, we actually have things called a boolean. And a boolean is like I said. So if we wanted to have a boolean, we had is Pokemon cool, uh, cool. We would assign it a value of true. And Pokemon is cool, so it's always going to be true. And now let's go and let's console log each one to the console. Like I said, it's a bit of, uh, it's a really simple program. We're not, you know, inventing the next Google, but it's fun nonetheless, and it's good practice. So you gotta get those, a lot of programming is just getting your fingers used to finding everything. So we're gonna go in here, we're gonna type in S-O-U-T, we're gonna go enter, and then we are going to log the Pokemon name. Very simple, and we don't, this is good because we don't have to, we're storing memory. Like I said, we don't have to go in there and we don't have to just assign things just like that. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go S-O-U-T and we're going to do the exact same thing, but except for number of Pokemon. Then we're going to go down one more, S-O-U-T, same thing. You can also hit tab if you want to. And I'm going to type in is Pokemon cool. And that is what we need so far just to get a very simple program running and what i'm going to do i'm going to go up here going to hit that green button let's see if it logs to the console and if it runs and would you look at that that is a beautiful little pokemon program we have designed we are doing great things anyway i hope that you guys enjoyed this if you did make sure to hit that like button make sure to hit that subscribe button and as always thank you for watching